Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a kitchen cleanup. So going through my fridge, wiping down my fridge. I haven't done that since I moved into the house. I know it might be kind of gross to some people, but wiping down the front of the cupboards, the kitchen cupboards, the counters, the black splash tile, back splash tile. Can't talk apparently either. So a full kitchen clean. So come along with me. Okay, so this is what my kitchen looks like, you guys. Yes, I am making some craft dinner for my daughter. It doesn't look that bad, like it's not that dirty. It's more so when you're close up, you really notice it compared to far away, but I just kind of wanted to get it done so I could just feel better about it. I know that it's done. Um, and obviously the holidays are coming up soon. So when that comes around the corner, I can just do a quick wipe down instead of like a deep clean like I had to do today. Um, so starting off with just unloading the dishwasher and then we'll load the dishwasher. So we're going to move on to hand washing some of the dishes that need to be hand washed. to just put everything away on the counters as you can see here i'm kind of using my phone as well that would be because i'm also posting some tiktoks and also i share my cleaning videos with my girlfriend to give her some uh motivation because she doesn't exactly have the most motivation in the world when it comes to cleaning her house or she's one of those people that starts you know one place and then it just becomes too overwhelming so she starts at another place and then before you know it she's made a bigger mess than actually cleaned up so this is just to kind of help her get a step by step but Right now we are wiping down the counters. I'm just doing a really quick wipe, not like a deep clean wipe of the counters because I'm going to be wiping the cupboards above and, you know, putting stuff away that needs to be put away. My counters basically every single morning look like a disaster. So, yeah. So now that I've gotten the kitchen, you know, basically clean, I didn't do like a super deep clean yet. I want to clean up my fridge first, and then I will start with the black splash and stuff like that in case I spill anything on the counters and that. Just my thought process here. Okay, so the fridge wasn't actually that dirty. Um, it just needed like a quick wipe down because it was pretty clean when we moved in, but then when we moved in, you know, like when you're unpacking and unloading stuff, you just kind of shove everything in the fridge. And we also have a fridge in the garage, so that's why this fridge isn't super full so I'm just gonna do a quick wipe down of it
Okay, so now that I've gotten the fridge clean, which thankfully wasn't that bad as you guys can see, it wasn't super disgusting. Now we're going to move on to cleaning the backsplash and the fronts of the cupboards. So now we're going to do the stove. So I do use like almost like a power paste. It's almost like the Scrub Daddy power paste, but just not the same brand. And it does a pretty good job of getting like the water burnt marks off, as you can see on the bottom, right where I'm about to wipe. Yeah, right there. Um, it gets a pretty good job of getting that off. It's not perfect as if I had a scraper, but it does the job, so I'm happy with it. So the backsplash behind the stove gets the dirtiest because it's obviously where the stove is, grease and stuff like that. So I'm just wiping it down with some of that power paste stuff and some dish soap. And then the spray that I will be using is just water, vinegar, and then a couple drops of dish soap into it. And I find that that does a good job cleaning it. So I'm going to be wiping down the toaster and stuff like that. Again, I'm also using a little bit of the power paste stuff because it does a very good job on stainless steel, as long as you don't scrub too, too hard, obviously. But this toaster is so old anyways, I'm never going to get all of the marks off of it. It's been through like four different household movings and stuff like that. But I like to just get it so that way, you know, I'm happy that it's somewhat clean. I love this little windowsill that is like by the sink looking out. As you can see, I have a little tiny Christmas tree there. It does have some lights. I hardly ever turn them on because I always forget, but it's there. But I love this little windowsill thing. I think it's beautiful. I think it it's a great place to put some stuff in the kitchen that's out of the way, but you know, still there that you want in the kitchen. Um, sometimes I put flowers in there and stuff like that. The only thing I don't like about it though is when I'm trying to climb in there to clean the windows, that is a pain in the butt and it collects so much dust. Moving on to the fronts of the cupboards. Actually, one of those cupboards fell off, funny enough, the next day. Um, so the cupboards need new hinges, and the cupboards were like our wood, but they were just painted over, so they're not the best quality. But just giving those a quick wipe down as they also collect a whole lot of dust. <laughs> Thank you. 
So unfortunately here, I'm cleaning underneath the sink in the kitchen. Um, so my camera died, like my battery died halfway through doing this. I did finish it all and I'm sorry that I didn't get to uh, show all of it to you guys, but this is where we keep our compost because where I live, we do, they pick up compost uh, every week. So I did that, but my battery died right here. So unfortunately I didn't get to show you me cleaning all of that. But as you can see, like little speckles of dirt and stuff like that everywhere. Food, obviously, cause this is right where the sink is. The cupboard on the right, right where my daughter is, she's trying to help me is where a coffee pot is, so a lot of coffee ends up getting spilt down that cupboard. Oh, how I miss having our stainless steel fridge. So we still have that fridge, it's in the garage, but it doesn't fit in this space, unfortunately. So we're kind of stuck with this fridge here, but I do miss the other fridge because it was much easier to clean than trying to clean in all the little tiny grooves of the the white fridges, although this doesn't show fingerprints, so I guess that is a bonus. So moving on to doing the stainless steel everywhere, I did also do the dishwasher, I just didn't get that on camera unfortunately. Apparently when I pressed record I was actually not recording, so that's my mix up, but yes, moving on to doing the stainless steel, shine that all right up. This microwave we just bought and it's clearly as you can see not very dirty um, I'm just giving it a quick wipe down anyways because then it's something off my list I know that I've wiped it down it's clean we don't use a microwave very much to be honest with you guys um, so that's why it's not really dirty but I just wanted to do it because then I know in my mind that it is done Now for the fun part of cleaning the sink. I will be using some dish soap and I also have a little bit of power paste left over on my sponge that I will also be using to clean the sink. Did I say stove? Because I, I meant to say sink. I think I said stove, but sink. Cleaning the sink. This is so satisfying to do. I love it every single time I do it. And then at the end um, of the video, I will like to add some essential oil drops into it just so it smells good. And also you guys, a little tip. With the vinegar and water and dish soap mixture for cleaning, you can add a couple drops of essential oils into there too. You know, whatever season you want to do, a clean smell, a seasonal smell. And it just... 
it smells nice. It's a eco-friendly cleaner. You can spray it around babies. It's not going to hurt them. So that's what I like to use for cleaning. Adding a new sponge to the sink. Ah, oh, love this feeling. So refreshing. So now I'm moving on to wiping down the inside of the recycling bin and the garbage can. The recycling bin is actually brand new, but I'm wiping it down just because, you know, might as well while I'm here. The garbage can is not a good garbage can. It was here with the house. We want to buy a new one. We're just, you know, looking into them. We want to buy a really good one, one that's big enough. Um, so we're kind of just looking into that, really procrastinating. You know how it goes. So now I'm just going over the floors with my Tinko uh, floor vacuum and mop, I guess is what it is. I don't know the actual name, but it's a Tinko S3 anyways. It is worth every investment that I put into it. I love it. It is obviously you still need to do a proper, you know, sweep vacuum mop of your floors. But when you just need something to just get her done, this is great. You know, when your kids are eating and they make a huge mess underneath the table and it's at night and you're tired, you don't want to you know, pull out the whole mop and vacuum and everything else. This just does it all in one. It's super easy. I love it. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for So now I'm just moving on to washing the dog's dishes since I just, you know, vacuumed the floors and then I'm going to put them down, nice clean dishes, and then the whole kitchen will be beautiful and it will be clean and I will be happy and then it's out of my mind and I won't look at the little tiny stains all it's all over the cupboards and stuff like that and be like, Oh, I should wipe that but then never get to it. So I hope this is uh motivating for you guys to just get up and do something that's been on your list for a while. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to follow my TikTok, Roberta Anderson, I have the link down below. Um, I do recipe videos, quick cleans on there and stuff like that, so don't forget to check that out as well.